Hey guys, it's Dringer again, back with my beautiful lamb in the sous vide bag. And this is the sealing machine, so we're just going to vacuum seal this roast lamb before I put it into the sous vide machine. So I'm just going to do that, and then I'll show you the sous vide machine when it's on. So here comes some noise. <laughs> Some of the liquid does get drawn up. Hopefully it suctioned it before any liquid got into the seal area. And then, ready for this noise? I love it. Black button releases the pressure. Ah, oh, Matt's working on something outside. So the sound of his jigsaw or drill was going at the same time. And has it worked? Has it? Have we got a successful seal? Yes, we do. So you can see that sealed line. Yeah. So you can see my fingers can only go to that point because the rest of it's sealed off. Perfect. Saturated fat. I'm into it. Dramatic commercials on Australian TV. Look, get healthy, everyone. Have a balanced meal. Eat your carbs. We'll show you where to shop and what to eat. Whatever. Anyway, back to lamb. Back to lamb. So there it is. Garlic, molten salt. What's it called? Molten? Molten? Mol I think it's molten. Let me have a look. Let me have a look. Where are we? No, molten with a D, Drina, of course. Okay, so there you go. And some Australian organic... Uh, Olive oil. Well, it's not organic olive oil, actually, sorry. But it is extra virgin olive oil. That's it. Okay. I'm going to go get the sous vide ready and I'll come back. Hey guys, I'm back. Okay, so currently that, that temperature is 19.1 degrees Celsius. That's the top temperature. The bottom one I've set for 6. 60 degrees Celsius and there's the lamb immersed in the water. So sous vide I believe means uh, vacuum sealed underwater. So it, it's French terminology uh, which was um, again it was developed in an accidental fashion but they were like hey this is a way we can uh, cook food. So there it is. I'm going to leave it for 24 hours. I'm going to turn it on now see if you can hear the beep beep. Matt and his soaring out there I don't know here we go where's my finger mm. whoops there we go okay so what will happen now is the temperature you can see you can hear it the, the water is starting to move what will happen is it's going to evenly um, warm the water so it doesn't matter where in the pot it'll all be at the same temperature that's the beauty of doing sous vide is that you can leave it and it's not going to overcook it it's going to get the meat or veggies or whatever you're cooking in there eggs I do um, slow cooked eggs in here sometimes they're really beautiful uh, yeah so we'll keep it at the right temperature that you want until you're ready to plate it or pan fry it whatever you need to do finish it off um, and as you can see it's gone from 19.1 up to 21.3 so this is to get up to 60 degrees it's probably going to take no less than 10 minutes and then I plan on cooking this for about 24 hours leg of lamb so Friday night dinner that's what we're having well look, this is my garden out here there's all my strawberries lime trees lemon trees we got all sorts of, and there's my rosemary in that beige pot just in the corner there. Alright, I'll show you the garden once I've cleaned it up and the kitchen once I've cleaned it up. Oh my god. Silly boy! 